이쁘게 만들자 그래 응. 딱딱 눌려 그거를 그렇지 그래야 그래야 이, 이거 바르고 사이드로 이렇게 되면 어떻게 좋은데 That's why you're here, okay. Okay? okay? You need to take Highway 98. Highway 98 East, mm -hmm. Ocean Drive. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a brand new year and I can't believe it. We're in 2021. I'm feeling really optimistic. I'm ready to kind of start fresh in all aspects of my life, which I'll go into later on in the video. But for now, we're talking about my wardrobe. There hasn't been much reason to get dressed up, but I feel like this year I want to, despite if I'm home or not, I just need to look good for myself. Okay, so I'm super excited because I've partnered up with Farfetch again. You guys know I love working with them. They carry different brands and boutiques from all over the world. They support small businesses that don't have an online presence and they give them their platform to sell their goods, which I think is especially important during this time. Farfetch also practices sustainability. They have an entire section of pre-owned goods on their website and they have an assortment of luxury pieces. So before I get into the haul, there's also a discount code for you guys. You can get 10% off. I'll leave the code right here. Um, so if you've been wanting to treat yourself, you know, for the new year. 10% uh, off goes a long way, in my opinion. But anyways, let's get into it. Here is my very first Bottega Veneta bag, and I got the Tote Weave bag. I will say BV's leather is phenomenal. Their leather is so incredibly soft. I love brands like Bottega who don't have a loud logo print. Um, like the pattern speaks for itself and you kind of know when it's a BV bag depending on the style of the bag, if that makes sense. So there's a top handle and I would just tuck in these longer strings and wear it like so. And you have the option to wear it on your shoulders. These straps are removable, which is great. So I would remove that. And then it's a longer, cute little tote. I think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. It's black and it fits a good amount of stuff. So this is the first item and I would say it's my favorite because I know I'm gonna wear the crap out of it. The next piece I got is an accessory item. I got a Baker Boy cap. This is made by Reslin Baginski and they have really, really cool caps. It has some red stitching, which is nice, a little pop, but not too much. And it's made out of wool. Ta-da! This is Bottega Veneta's Lido sandal. It just has so much cushion and I love the detailing. And as you can see here on the sole, there's some rubber, which is great because it's just very slippery. So I feel like this is genius to add 
the rubber on the soles. And the last item I wanna show you guys, I'm actually wearing, so I'm gonna get up. These are the frame denim, and I forget the style name, but I'll have the links down below if you guys are interested in any specific item. But I believe this is supposed to fit kind of like mid or high-waisted. If I got a 24, it would probably sit there, but I feel like I have a lot of high-waisted pants. So I kind of wanted something that fitted a little bit lower at the waistline. And that's about it for the haul. If you guys are interested in any of these products, again, they'll be in the description box so you can check them out. And don't forget to use my code for 10% off. All the details will be down below. Thank you so much to Farfetch for sponsoring today's video. My parents will be back at home soon. My sister is officially moved out. She no longer lives with me. She's been with me at this home since I bought it back in 2017. So it's kind of wild to think about this new chapter in my life where I'm actually living alone. I knew that this day would come eventually, but now that it's here, it's like kind of surreal. I have a mix of emotions. I kind of get fearful of just being alone. I also know that this is going to be good for me to embark this new chapter in my life where I am just fully and solely independent. Not that I wasn't before, but it's very different when you have a family member living with you. You're not just living for yourself, you're living for the other person as well, whether it's me making her dinner when she gets home or vice versa. So we now get to kind of grow as individuals on our own and it's just time for us to move our separate ways and um, if anything, I think that will build our relationship as sisters even more. I know a lot of you said you'll miss Robin and she's still gonna be around. She still lives in LA. You guys will still see Robin. Like, she's not going anywhere. But yeah, like, this is 2021. Your girl went from a full, crazy, hectic household just a week ago to now crickets. I do miss the liveliness of when my family was here. But you know, that can't last forever and it just allows me to look forward to the next time that they're here. And right now for me, it's just about kind of setting my intentions for the year and refocusing and getting back to work. So the vlogs may not be as funny as they were in the last couple videos, but Everyone's life goes through seasons and there's like family time and fun time and then there's the times where you're just focused on yourself and that's what uh, this year is going to be about for me. These workout pants fit like a glove. It is only 4.28 and it already gets so dark in my house around this time and I hate it. I wanted to talk to you guys about my skin. I mentioned this a little bit in my last vlog. I just want to do a disclaimer because I feel like you have to for everything these days. Um, I know people go through a lot worse and I feel for you so hard with anyone who's dealing with like cystic acne and just exaggerated acne. I feel like when you try to open up about something, even though it's your personal journey and experience, you can get scrutinized because people will tend to compare or say like, oh, it's not that bad. I don't even know why you're complaining. So I just wanted to put that out there. But if I'm just talking about my personal experience uh, over the last six months, my skin has changed a lot. The next Blanon started to give me just more frequent breakouts in areas that I normally would never break out. When I first got it removed, the first two days my skin was clearing up and I'm like, whoa, it definitely was the next Blanon. But then the day after, a new breakout would form and I don't know, it's just hard to pinpoint what it could be. Right now my body is still rebalancing itself, but I am going to a dermatologist at the end of the month, which I'm so looking forward to. With that being said, I do want to document and talk about like my progress journey. Hopefully we have a good update in a couple of months, but that's where we're at with the skin.
Got a Chinese chicken salad. So hungry. Happy Saturday everyone. I am currently in Pasadena. I have my very first dermatologist appointment at Facil and I think we're gonna do a peel which I've never had so I'll let you guys know how it goes. So there's TCA, mm -hmm. um, which is like a peeling solution. There's also lactic acid. I do feel the sensation. It's gonna tangle. Ooh. What would you say you're at right now? From like zero to 10? I'm at a solid eight. You are? Okay. No, but uh, right now it's it just started to like settle. Kind of settle now. Okay, let's wait a minute. <laughs> Here we go. Another layer. Another layer. <laughs> It has been quite the day. I went on a full deep cleaning mode because I like to do that once a week. So Sunday is usually the day. Everything is squeaky clean, just how I like it. Um, but I wanted to give you guys an update on my skin. My provider was Belle. She's so sweet um, and she was very helpful. I got a chemical peel, my very first chemical peel. And I didn't know what to expect. For some reason, I thought it was much more abrasive, but it actually isn't. So this is how my skin is looking um, the day after the peel. My skin is extra dry and the peeling process doesn't begin until the third day so by tomorrow i should start to peel all over my face and you're not supposed to pick it you're not supposed to exfoliate your skin or do any of that just let it do its natural thing hope you guys are having a wonderful sunday even though you may not be watching this on a sunday wow, wow. Yeah, else good I got it.
I did a scramble with turkey bacon and green onions from the garden, avocado, the side of tomatoes, hummus, and whole wheat pita bread. Mm -hmm. I've been killing it with my eggs these days, let me tell you. Mm. Happy Tuesday. Come here, Neil. Good boy. Um, I wanted to give you guys an update on my skin. This is day three post chemical peel. Um, yesterday I was very scaly, okay? I look like a snake shedding its first layer of skin, hoping that this youthful skin underneath will soon blossom. Today I'm still peeling, but it is a little bit better. It's insane because I really see an improvement in my skin already. Throughout this journey, I wanna be as transparent as possible. Hopefully this could help some of you if you guys are we're struggling through the same things. This area right here is usually my most active breakout area and for some reason it has subsided. It's it's flattening, it feels like it's getting better. And I can't believe the only treatment I got so far was just a peel and it's made this much of a difference. Why didn't I get this sooner? I have no idea. But <laughs> moving forward, your girl is treating skincare like my life depends on it. Did a little bit of damage today. This is 28, y'all. Get excited about technology. Today I picked up my new Dyson. Very excited about this because I had a V7, so a very old model. And I now have the dock. And I also purchased the ooh, Supersonic in black. The reason why I got this is because my blue one stopped working out of nowhere. I was blow drying my hair and the power went out. Tried to do everything, clean the filter, all this stuff. It didn't work, so. She's a beauty. And I love this dock because it just makes it very easy to charge. I don't know where I'm gonna put it yet. I wanna, I wish I could put it in the closet, but I don't have an electric outlet to charge it, but it'll be here for now. It's time for my baby's dinners. You hungry? Oh, okay. I've been using Honest Kitchen as their base, and I'm gonna add some open farm freeze-dried raw and a little bit of turkey bone broth, and I think I'm gonna add a cod skin. They love the cod skins. Just do a little bit. It adds some nice flavor as well. Wow, my couch hasn't been this clean since I bought it. Even though I can wash the slip covers, I never was able to clean the sides. And this new Dyson got all the sides clean. I can't even begin to tell you how much dirt I saw in the bin. If you guys haven't noticed, I sold my coffee table. I am getting rid of lots of pieces and introducing new pieces that are more me. I got this place in 2017 and my style has changed a lot since then. So yeah, I'm really excited about the process. I removed the carpet that was here as well. So for now, we're just gonna have it super clean, which I don't mind. Two, three, six, seven, eight, 